Hello, this is Seamus in 7MYW. Today I think uh, would be a good day to take the Bio NO Power Pack out of its box, show it off, and see what uh, what you get. I picked this up over at uh, M Radio Outlet last week. This is the model BPP Bravo Papa Papa 160. And uh, when I saw this advertised, I said I've got to have something like this for taking out for portable and for QRP and not just ham radio related activities, but all the activities we would uh, normally use uh, battery packs for when there's a, a power outage or just to have extra power. Um, I'll go ahead and do an unboxing, although I've already taken things out of this box before, make sure everything was there, but this is the first time otherwise it's been out of this box. It's not been used yet, but uh, I've, uh, I've definitely seen it in use and uh, it's, it's wonderful. I can't wait to get out and use it myself. So. Without further ado, we will take it out of the box and see what comes with it. Nice little carrying case, too. I do like that. Let's see here. I'll take this on out. Comes uh, padded nicely. Nice color, definitely easy to see. I like that. Love these handles. Just pop up right on out. And there it is, Bioeno. Um, looking at it right away, you can see that it has a power power rating right there that shows how much power is left in the battery, whether it's DC or AC. You can cycle through them depending on what you're going to use. Um, it's a pretty impressive little back. This is a 20 amp hour battery pack. So right there you have two outlets for standard AC, which is nice. Three prong. Three prong. And uh, here in the back, various outlets. Let's see if I can focus that in a little bit better. You have two standard USB outlets, uh, both rated at 5 volts, 3.1 amps. The input here uh, is for uh, charging the battery itself. And then you have a couple of other outputs for anywhere between 9 and 12 volts uh, at 10 amps. So this thing will actually produce a, a pretty good amount of, of amperage for, for most uh, the, anything that we would need QRP portable. Pretty impressive. Opening up the box that gives you all of your extras. And one of the things that they do well is packing here little instruction manual. Um, first of all, I'll give you a 13.8 volt DC setup with power poles on it already set up to plug into the back. So if you need to or want to use that with anything that requires 13.8, uh, power or the wall wart, normal wall wart. And of course, we have the uh, the adapter that allows any of the I used to call those cigarette and cigar lighters. Nobody uses that anymore. Hardly anybody smokes. Thank goodness. Hope we get past the, get to that point eventually where nobody does. Uh, and then, uh, of course, that would pop in there, and you could use that for anything that requires DC voltage that way. And uh, that one just plug right into the back there. Again, I haven't used it yet. Uh, haven't played with actually attaching it to anything but from what I have seen uh, it looks like it works well in fact maybe I should just plug something in so so there's a lot of ways you could do this uh, just take my cell phone here actually just plug it into the back turn it on Plug it into my cell phone, and there it goes. Uh, and you can see that it's uh, well, it's already charged up 100% now anyway, so it really doesn't matter on this phone. Didn't realize I had charged it up. I flip it to AC, and you can see on there that uh, it's uh, charging. Charging it up. 
So that works great on AC. I'll unplug that. Turn that back to DC. What we'll do is we're going to take the handheld, but we take the Yaesu FT3D. We'll turn this on. That out right there. Get this other stuff out of the way. They do happen to have the battery charger or the battery eliminator that you would use in a car. This is the uh, the Asus SDD13. So I could take that, plug that into here. We'll do flip that around. Put that into there. Whoops, we have to put the other adapter in. Now we could use this one. Just put this into here. Take that. And we'll go over to the external DC in outlet over here. Turn that on. And as you can see, by looking at that, that we are on 9.9 .9 volts. So definitely doing a good job doing what it's supposed to do. Turning that on, you can see that that's working as well. So success in trying it out for the first time. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to have an extra battery pack to take with you out and about. I gotta say, uh, for the price, uh, I paid $189 for this, and normally it's $204, $205, I believe. Um, I think it's, uh, I think I believe it said it was two to three thousand charges you could get on this battery, maybe the lower amount, maybe two thousand, which means it's going to be years and years and years that I'll be able to have uh, a charges out of this battery. Another thing that it comes with uh, as an option is a solar panel. That you can roll out. Uh, I believe that the last time I checked that was about $120, which eventually I might get if I want to take this up portable with complete 100% green uh, power for operating my Yaesu FT818 or any of the radios here or anything. You can take a toaster up if you want to. It's, it's going to be a really nice addition to my go bag, my go uh, pack for uh, emergencies. And I'm pretty impressed with it. So that right there, that is the BioNO Power Pack BPP160. I hope that uh, this video was informative and that uh, that you enjoyed it. If uh, if so, please uh, leave a comment if you'd like as to what you think. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much. And 73 from N7MYW.